Bay Fellowship Men, it's Matt Bishop. Wanted to say thanks for coming to week one. We appreciate you guys showing up. Had a good crowd. More importantly, we had uh, a lot of good relationship building at the very beginning that's kind of important, but we want to do that more and more every Wednesday night and throughout the week. Um, just wanted to encourage you guys to, to keep, keep plugging in with your group. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do today was kind of follow up on some of the things that Rory had brought up in week one uh, in a man and his relationships. One of the things he brought up was four different points. And those things kind of help you uh, as, as, as your pursuit of being a godly man, being a godly husband, maybe even a godly brother, uh, a godly dad. Um, and those four things, uh, and how they apply in my life is kind of what I wanted to bring up real quick with you. Uh, the first one was uh, to reject passivity. And, and that for me is a matter of uh, kind of gets right to the core of my pursuit for, for comfort. Uh, I'll be real honest with you guys. I like to fish. I like to hunt. I like to watch football. Uh, and at the same time, I can do all those things. And, and um, I could watch probably nine hours of football in one day. Three different games, and, and yet uh, my struggle would be to open up my Bible some days for, for nine minutes. Um, and the Lord has really helped me in that pursuit. His Spirit has helped me reject passivity. Uh, and to spend that time, whether it's serving my wife, serving my kids, training my children, uh, being a good brother, being a good friend, uh, all those things have, have kind of helped me um, just be honest uh, with, with who I want to be and how I want to get there. So, so to reject passivity for me, uh, lately, that's kind of a, a, a big deal. Um, not standing on the sidelines, getting in the game, and not just watching the game. Uh, so the, the second thing Roy brought up uh, Wednesday night was accepting responsibility. And this really, um, this can be daunting for me. Because um, I'd like other people to take responsibility for things that have happened to me. Um, things in my life where... I had points with financial trouble, uh, marital trouble, uh, parenting struggles, um, struggles in my just personal emotions um, with my with my with my parents, maybe uh, there. Um, and, and you know, when I'm having job issues or anything like that, I I don't necessarily take the lead responsibility role, and I know I need to take responsibility because I'm the only one. Uh, that can be responsible for my actions. And I've learned this the hard way, wanting other people to, to take, take that for me. Um, so the second thing was accept responsibility, and sometimes my, my actions are passive. Um, so that kind of leads back to point one. So moving on to point three that Rory brought up, he said, we need to lead courageously. This is something that I've watched over the years, guys, uh, as I've been mentored, as I've watched other men be a good, godly man. I've watched what they did, watched their example, and now I feel like I'm in a place where I'm the same age you were when I was watching you. And I feel like it is that time to be an example to someone else. It is that time to be the godly man in my marriage that I've watched other people that have been married 20, 30, 40, and 50 years. Um, it's, it's not tomorrow, it's, it's today, it's today. And so to lead courageously in my, in my life, uh, to, to ask people, hey, follow me, imitate me, um, it is a responsibility uh, now that, that I wanna take. Uh, and the last thing that Roy brought up was to invest eternally. And this is, a, this is a, obviously a, a big topic because we're talking about eternity. And you may have heard it said to look for the better reward, expect a better reward for the things that are going to happen in this life. And I think that's important because that's our finances, that's our time, that's our relationships. And to think, you know what, um, for me, one of the things of investing eternally is just sharing the gospel. Just tell them the truth. One of the guys at my table this past week said, you know what, sometimes men just need to hear it straightforward. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's just my investment into eternity is to, in a loving way, uh, in a caring way, just say it straight. Just tell, tell the truth. 
uh, especially when it comes to the one thing that does matter in eternity, and that's the gospel story. That's the story of Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and by his spirit, fellas, we can, we can invest eternally. Uh, I don't want to run around and do things that don't matter. You know, that, that phrase that Francis Chan wrote about where he talks about uh, our greatest fear should not be a failure, but of, of, of succeeding at things in life that don't really matter. Boy, isn't that the truth? Um, so definitely don't want to invest in things that don't matter. So as we go this semester, I know these four points will also play a big deal in how we all grow. So to, to one man from another, I want you guys to, to go with me on this journey uh, to reject passivity, to accept responsibility, to lead courageously, and to invest eternally. Uh, I'll see you next week. Take care, fellas.